Some of you are probably thinking, hey, I already watched this video. And yeah, you may have watched it already. I'm really sorry if you have. I did re-upload the video because I uploaded it a couple of days ago and it got taken down for some reason. It got taken down an hour, I think, after I uploaded it. So a lot of people didn't get to watch it. And I still think it's an interesting video if you didn't get to watch it. Because honestly, after we just saw Blake Griffin get traded to the Detroit Pistons, well, anything is possible. Even though MJ obviously said that Kemba isn't available on the trade block, we all know deep down that anyone is available for the right piece and Kemba Walker is still available on the trade block in my opinion if the Charlotte Hornets can get the right fit for him and in my opinion Kemba Walker could do a lot of damage if he was traded to the right team so with that being said originally this was five teams that could go after Kemba Walker I'm going to change it to four right now because originally the Pistons were on that list and I don't think they're going to go after someone like Kemba Walker now that they just got Blake Griffin on that team. So here are four teams that could go after Kemba Walker. Hopefully the video doesn't get taken down. I was really lucky because I was able to get in contact with a guy who makes graphics and all these awesome clips for the video. So if you guys enjoy what you see, go follow Benjamin. Link is in the description. He only has 1.7k subs. Let's get him up to 2,000 subs. He uploads awesome NBA mixes from Rashid Wallace, Lonzo Ball, so past and present, it's really dope. Follow his Instagram, Twitter account, whatever, all links are in the description. He helped me out so much, so I really want you guys to support him as well. And let's just get on to the video. As we all know, Kemba Walker has become one of the most sought out plays heading into the NBA trade deadline this year. Michael Jordan, the owner of the Charlotte Hornets, has said he's on the trade table, but unless they get something really good for him, they're probably not going to trade him. But haven't we heard all this before? It happens pretty much every NBA trade deadline. It happens during free agency. Players are guaranteed they're going to be on the team and the next minute they're traded. That's just how the life of the NBA works. Happened with Isaiah Thomas. In fact, I mean, I just watched an open court episode yesterday. It, it happened with Steve Smith. <laughs> I, mean, I think also the second one for me when I got traded from Portland to San Antonio. When I had just asked ownership, I mean management, not ownership, Paul Allen was a great owner. <laughs> I heard I'm getting traded. I just want to know because I want to buy a house and get established. And they said, no, nah, you're good. <laughs> you ain't buy the house. And then I was traded oh, to San Antonio. So just people bad. understand, it's a That's business. Wrong. This kind of stuff just happens in the NBA. So let's take a look at five teams who could get Kemba Walker during this NBA trade deadline. The first team... I don't believe they're really going to get him, but the San Antonio Spurs. And this is the reason why I don't believe they're going to get him. Jordan has already come out and said, like I said before, they're only going to give up Kemba Walker if the Spurs or any other franchise can give them a star player in return or an all-star caliber player, something that the Charlotte Hornets actually want. And the Spurs are an elite team, but really they only have one all-star in LaMarcus Aldridge. Obviously Kawhi Leonard is an all-star, but he just hasn't been playing much. And the thing is, the reason why they're on this list in the first place is because we know that number one, if they could somehow get a deal that didn't involve Kawhi and obviously didn't involve LaMarcus Aldridge, then I guess they could package in a deal somewhere or another to get Kemba Walker. Considering the Spurs just announced that DeJounte Murray will be the new starting point guard of the San Antonio Spurs. Tony Park has gone to the bench and he has no problems with a demotion to the bench role. He actually made the decision himself. And Patty Mills, he's always been a great role player and a great bench player. But imagine a team of Kemba, Rudy Gay... LaMarcus Aldridge, Kawhi Leonard, Pau Gasol. I mean, it's a championship team. I mean, are they going to beat Golden State? Who knows? But it's definitely a Western Conference championship to compete against the Houston Rockets or a team like that. But in my opinion, the Spurs do have plenty of reason to believe that Murray will be the starting point guard for the future of the San Antonio Spurs. Had an awesome first game. He, I think he had a double-double as well. So... That guy, he looks really nice for the future. The second team is the Knicks are ready to make that next step and transition with Chris Stas Porzingis. Now, the thing is, the Knicks are a big city, a big franchise. They do have the possibility of signing a player in free agency. So, Kemba Walker, you know, he is going to be a good fit for the New York Knicks if he ends up going there. 
but at the same time, the Knicks can definitely wait to sign someone, especially because they still have a rookie, Frank the Tank, who, I mean, we don't know how great he'll be, but he has shown some promising signs. It's just the fact that the Knicks could definitely make a stronger contention to be a playoff team with Kemba Walker and Chris Stutz posing us on the same team because Frank he still got some room to grow so it would be a very interesting scenario if Kemba Walker were to go to the New York Knicks but in trading for Kemba Walker the Knicks would be addressing one of their biggest issues and that's just another guy to actually score at the end of games alongside Kristaps Porzingis and in my opinion though the only reason the Hornets would do this is to pair Nilakina with their young players in Charlotte I mean I just don't know if it's gonna work that way but for New York it's also one of those things where they get a great player but who knows the future of Nilakina in the NBA he could be a better player we just have to wait and see with time so at the same time is it gonna happen Probably not. A lot of people have been talking about the Cleveland Cavaliers going after Kemba Walker. I've seen it in so many trade rumors, but truly, it's not going to happen. Let's be honest here. Cleveland will definitely go after someone during this trade deadline period, but I just don't think it will be Kemba Walker. I mean, they don't need another star point guard on their team. They already have Isaiah Thomas. Even though the Cleveland Cavaliers are in a slump, Isaiah Thomas isn't the Isaiah Thomas we've seen in the past couple of seasons. He's still finding his form. But I just think for Cleveland, they will go after someone, but it's got to be a defensive-minded player. And they just don't need Kemba Walker. Like, there's just no need for him at this point. Yes, they need to improve somewhere or another, but I think it's got to be with a defensive player like DeAndre Jordan. They're looking at George Hill, who is a point guard, but it is a little bit different to Kemba Walker, considering that George Hill is not a star player or an all-star player. And he's just a good role player. But to be honest, even then, I don't think the Cavaliers need another guard on that team. They just need to go after a big man who can play defense. Even though they got a lot of other issues to sort out in, in Cleveland, that's their main thing in my opinion. Here's the last team I want to talk about. And obviously there are a lot of teams in the NBA that could go after Kemba Walker. And I'm just naming five of them. But I do think the Indiana Pacers would be a nice fit for Kemba Walker. And, and hear me out. I know they've got Victor Oladipo. But imagine a Victor Oladipo and Kemba Walker backcourt. That would be very nice. Especially in the Eastern Conference. Now, they're in a bit of a similar situation to the Detroit Pistons. In the sense that... Kemba Walker, as I mentioned, would be an upgrade to Reggie Jackson. Likewise, in Indiana, Kemba Walker would be an upgrade over Darren Collison. Now, this is the crazy thing. Victor Oladipo is an all-star player this season. He's really stepped up his game. And they've basically turned him into a shooting guard, point guard. He does handle the ball a lot when I watch Indiana play. And Victor Oladipo... He would almost, in my opinion, if they did get Kemba Walker, it's a weird lineup they would have, but it would, it could work. The thing is, it'd almost be they would switch places, as in Kemba Walker would almost become that shooting guard. He would take most of the shots, or not most of the shots, but he'd be one of those players that would just be able to stretch the floor and they would kick it out to him, where Victor Oladipo would have the ball in his hands and be the one to make the play, drive, kick out, assist, you know what I mean? So that's how I would see it if the Pacers were to get Kemba Walker, but the Pacers probably didn't expect to be in this position at the start of the season. I mean, they did lose Paul George, but they gained Victor Oladipo, who in, well, if you look at the NBA season, he's had a better season overall and he's an all-star, not... Paul George, who isn't. But they're only 2.5 games out of the number four seed in the Eastern Conference with 35 games remaining this year. I mean, they could definitely make a run at the playoffs. And the way the East is looking with Cleveland playing so bad, Boston losing to the Lakers, anything is possible. And I think a swap for Darren Collison could mean that the Pacers make a run at being one of the better teams in the NBA heading into the later part of the season. Now, whether they could actually make a run and make the trade would obviously depend on a lot of variables. I mean, they certainly have the potential to make a move, but I don't know if it would happen. If they did make it work, though, like I said, Pacers dynamic one-two punch in the backcourt. Few teams in the Eastern Conference could match up with that. 
And if you're the Hornets, I mean, it's just another chance to rebuild without a Kemper Walker in your lineup. You get to pair somebody in the draft with Malik Monk, and that's really all you can hope for if you're a Charlotte fan. Because either way, you're not going to make the NBA Finals or even come close with Kemper Walker on your team. So you might as well just try and, I guess, tank a little bit. Even though no one really likes tanking, you may have to do that to become a championship team eventually. So that's my thoughts on, well, Kemba Walker and the five trade scenarios that I have come up with. Let me know down below what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think Kemba Walker will be traded and where do you think he'll be traded to? If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'm out. Peace.